Hey, welcome back. So we're working on a Chevy Silverado. It's a 2024. We have one unprogrammed key and one program key. Vehicle's turned on. So let's go ahead and get started. We have our power supply. It's been a long day. We have our laptop. We have the one unprogrammed key. I'm gonna stick there. The program key, we're gonna live in this prox pocket here. So just like the other bench seat uh, Silverados, you have that bench seat, it folds down and it's gonna be in here. It's not gonna be in this top cup holder up here. So let's get started with Wi-Fi. Let's refresh. Cool, so we have one active. Let's go ahead and continue. Advin. And let's connect. Weeble wobble, holy moly. And that works, I just let it sit there. Don't really need that prox pocket until later. Let it do its thing. And I did contact uh, the Tech Connect user help. So check out the links below for any sort of troubleshooting. Uh, I'll show you in here, but in case you miss it, let's go ahead and get started. I need to enter the VIN. So before I get started, I'm gonna leave the one working key in here. I'm gonna take this key. I'm just gonna put it on the back tire, just away from the vehicle, about 10 feet away, as they say. Okay, so we have the VIN typed in. It's gonna say turn ignition off. Uh, batteries fully charged. I had it running, so everything is cool. AC's off. We're plugged in. Laptop, data link cable, the Altel V200. Uh, if you're curious about that, check out the links below. You'll see how to set that up. Cool. Let's go ahead and select. So it didn't detect it. It usually does, but let's go ahead and click that. Now it's beeping, okay. Yeah, it's showing. It's a white truck. Yep, cool, good. And now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna click on SPS2. And we're gonna go to reprogram, yes. Click on the bottom down here for next. Okay. And instead of going to mobilize or learn, we're gonna click down here. We're gonna click on serial data authentication configuration. We're gonna click that button. So we're gonna have to turn the vehicle off. Off. Okay. And what GM, like AC Delco said, is basically this is kind of clearing those security codes and kind of prepping and also making sure that the vehicle can function with the setup we have and also to add that key. Doing this kind of prevents that VTX um, secure access denied, like error code. Okay, cool. So only one attempt, that's good. Okay, I'll do that later. Okay, and then it shows this information, so that's gonna be a good thing. Um, so if it doesn't show that, that means it's not gonna work. But that's good, and that's what they, they said. So now we're gonna click on proceed, same VIN. Cool, and now we can go to Immobilizer Learn. Click next. And also the vehicle's off. The vehicle's gonna turn on by itself. So we're gonna do add key, hit next. 
the ignition is on, engine off. But it's gonna turn on. I should. There it goes. Cool. Hit next again. Next again. Cool. Now we're gonna wait. Okay, and we're down to the 49 second window uh, on one continuous uh, time frame. So that's pretty cool. Uh, doing that configuration uh, makes it streamlined. So let's go ahead and continue. That saves so much time and so many errors. Oh, why does it do that? Did that earlier today too. So again, I have the original working key in the prox pocket. They count it as modules, so all other keys outside the vehicle. And it's still green. All good. Okay, you wanna learn more keys? Yes. Okay, insert the new key. So I'm gonna insert the new key in there. Place all of the keys outside the vehicle. And cool, looks like we are all good. Let's hit next. And we'll take the key out. Brake pedal. Nice, yeah, cool. And we're back to the home page. And just like that, one continuous shot, we're able to get the vehicle key added and we are good to go. So check out the links below to see that troubleshoot video. That little button click is huge. It saves so much time instead of fail, fail, fail over and over. Now it's it was one shot. I'm gonna try it again, but we'll see. Thanks again. I'll see you, bye.